Did you know that over 80% of container users are still using Docker, even though Podman offers a more secure and flexible solution? Yep, Podman is like Docker's cool, independent cousin. In this video, we're going to check out Podman, see what makes it awesome, what makes it different and the same as Docker, and let you choose which one solution is better. Stick around till the end to find out why Podman might just blow your mind and make your container life way easier. Whether you're a tech wizard or just starting out, you won't want to miss this fun dive into the future of containers. And just before we dive in, here's a little laugh. Why did the Docker container go to therapy? It had too many issues to handle. So before we dive into what Podman is, let's quickly talk about what containers are to help the newbies set up the scene for Podman. Imagine Netflix for a second. They need to make sure their streaming service works perfectly on everything from smart TVs to smartphones and in different places with all kinds of internet speeds. Containerization lets them pack their app and everything it needs into little portable boxes, so it works smoothly no matter what device or where you are. As Steve Jobs once said, design is not just what it looks like and feels like. Design is how it works. Containers totally get this. They make sure your app works great everywhere, just like it does on your own computer. It's like having a magic box that ensures your app performs perfectly no matter where you run it. Pretty cool, right? Or should I say, container cool. So now that we've set the stage with what containers are and why they're so important, let's dive into how Podman changes the game. Podman is like a superhero among container engines. It's an open source project that helps us develop, manage, and deploy containers. It's super powerful, and what makes it stand out are its two unique features. Firstly, Podman has a demonless approach, or should I say, demonless? Ha 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 ha. Get it. That's a good one, you must admit. Unlike Docker, which relies on a background process called the Docker daemon to do all the heavy lifting like building images and running containers, Podman does things differently. Docker's daemon is like a mysterious ninja working behind the scenes, handling everything with a touch of magic, but also lurking as a system process and running as root. This is what's known as a client-server architecture. Podman, on the other hand, takes a more direct approach. It uses what's called the fork exec model. Instead of relying on a background daemon when you create a container with Podman, it's like Podman is a chef in a kitchen, forking itself and creating the container right there on the spot. This makes Podman more efficient, lightweight, and secure compared to other container engines. And yes, I did say engines instead of engine because I didn't want to single out someone, but we all know who we're talking about. Take Elon's favorite child, I mean company, SpaceX for example. They use containers a lot to manage their rocket launch operations. With Podman's lightweight and secure architecture, SpaceX can quickly deploy and manage containers without the overhead of a background daemon, ensuring reliable and efficient operations during crucial launch sequences. This flexibility and control are super important in an industry where precision and reliability are key. So, in a way, Podman is helping rockets launch into space. Pretty cool, huh? But now I'm wondering about something else. Apparently, Elon has an obsession with one of his kids, and if you're wondering how many kids he has, it's 11. Yes, 11, that's just crazy, but that's a whole different story. Back to his obsession, it is with his son, X. Yes, that's a cool but weird name at the same time. And what clicked in my mind is that his favorite company is called SpaceX. Makes you wonder, right? Now that we've seen how Podman can help rockets launch into space, let's talk about something that sounds scary but isn't as dramatic as a game over screen in Mario. Imagine if your Docker engine suddenly crashed, stopped working, or decided to take a coffee break. You'd lose access to all your containers, images, and everything else connected to Docker. Yikes. But this is where Podman shines with its demonless approach. Let's dig a bit deeper into the whole root versus rootless thing. Think of your computer as a theme park and your application is the super awesome roller coaster everyone wants to ride. If you're running the application as root, it's like leaving the control room unlocked. Sure, it's easy to get in and out, but it also means anyone could sneak in and mess with the controls. Some mischievous hacker with too much free time could cause all sorts of chaos. Now that would be scary. Now imagine the same theme park, but this time the control room is locked and only you have the key that's the rootless approach with Podman. Even if there's a vulnerability in your application, the damage is limited because it's running as a regular user, not as root. It's like having a security guard by the control room who only lets in trusted staff. 
So how can Podman be rootless when Docker isn't? Or one can even say Podman is being ruthless. Ha ha ha, that's definitely a good one. You gotta give me that. The secret is in how they're built. Docker uses a client-server model where the Docker daemon runs as a root process. This daemon handles all container-related tasks, which means it needs root privileges. Podman, on the other hand, uses a fork exec model where each container process is a child of the Podman process. This allows Podman to run containers as a regular user without needing root privileges. This rootless approach is a big win for our security friends. This extra layer of security is what makes Podman special. With Docker, the engine runs in the background as root, handling everything like a trusty butler. Podman, however, takes a more democratic approach, letting you run containers by default as a user, not as root, and without needing a background daemon. It's like having your cake and eating it too, without worrying about someone sneaking in with a fork. And speaking of forks, here's a funny fact. Did you know Elon Musk named one of his kids XAEA12? Imagine calling that name out at a theme park. XAEA12, it's your turn to ride the roller coaster. Now that we've had a laugh about Elon's uniquely named kid and learned about Podman being ruthless, I mean rootless, let's dive back into the next important part, architecture. You'll notice some similarities when we talk about the architecture of Docker and Podman. It's like they both attended the same how to be a great container engine 101 a class. This is because they're both based on something called the OCI, which stands for the Open Container Initiative. Think of OCI as the rule book for containers, a set of standards that tells us how to play nice with container technologies. Imagine you're a chef in a busy kitchen. You're used to chopping, sauteing, and plating dishes. Similarly, if you're coming from Docker and switching to Podman or vice versa, you'll feel right at home. A lot of the commands are like your go-to recipes, pulling, pushing, and building just with a Podman twist. Next, let's look at some of these Podman commands you'll use every day. Imagine you're craving some readies, that super fast database, so you decide to pull it down from your favorite Docker hub or K8SIO registry. It's like ordering your go-to specialty coffee, but for containers, just type Podman pull Redis and presto, it's downloaded and ready to go. Now that you've got Redis buzzing in your local registry, it's time to run it. Type podman run redis and add any extras, erm, um, I mean flags, like exposing ports or mounting volumes. It's like customizing your favorite drink, but for containers. And there it is. Your Redis container is now humming along on your system. To see what's brewing, just type podman peas to list all your active containers. It's like checking out the lineup at a music festival. Only these performers are containers, not bands. Now, this is just a taste of the Podman commands. It's a lot like Docker, but with a few extra tricks up its sleeve. Podman doesn't just stop at commands. Oh no, it goes a step further with something called Podman pods. Imagine Podman pods as the cool squad of containers hanging out together like a group of friends at a party. Just like Kubernetes pods, a Podman pod is a bunch of containers that share the same space and network. It's like having a VIP area where all your containers can chat and hang out together. Let's make this easy to understand with a real-world example. Think about your dream job application, the big thing powering your software empire. We already pulled down our trusty Redis container earlier to handle all our data needs. With Podman, we can put our Redis container and our backend application into a pod, creating a happy little community where they can work together perfectly. But Podman doesn't stop there. It's not just about hanging out. It's about making connections. If you're learning Kubernetes using something like Micro K8S, you can export your Podman pod directly to your Kubernetes cluster. It's like teleporting your whole party setup to the big leagues. Now you might be thinking, aren't Podman pods the same as Docker Compose? While both Podman Pods and Docker Compose help you manage multiple containers, they have different jobs. Docker Compose is for setting up and running multi-container Docker applications using a YAML file to configure everything. Podman Pods, on the other hand, are more like Kubernetes. They group containers that share the same network space, just like Kubernetes Pods. This makes Podman Pods great for Kubernetes, while Docker Compose is usually for development or testing. So, whether you're setting up containers for an application or practicing your Kubernetes skills, 
Podman pods are your go-to for creating, managing, and exporting these container groups. It's like having a VIP pass to the backstage of the container world. And speaking of VIP passes, did you know Elon Musk's companies are like containers themselves? He's got SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and more. Just imagine if he managed them with Podman. Talk about efficiency. In summary, Podman offers a secure, efficient, and powerful way to manage your containerized applications, standing out with its daemonless and rootless approach, and Podman pods for easy container orchestration. Whether you're transitioning from Docker or diving into Kubernetes, Podman has you covered. And remember, if Elon can manage rockets, electric cars, and 11 kids, you can definitely figure out choosing the right tool for managing your containers.